Hello, Dr. Blue here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some improvements that I made to the Doctor Who 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition DVDs. And then I'm going to be giving you the chance to have a free Doctor Who DVD, because who doesn't like free stuff? <laughs> so, you may already be aware of this, but a few years ago the BBC released a special Collector's Edition to mark Doctor Who's 50th Anniversary. And it was basically a four DVD set where each DVD contained a specific feature along with tons of special features, obviously. And what was quite cool about it is on the front cover of each DVD there was a specific Doctor. We had Matt Smith on the Name of the Doctor DVD, David Tennant on the 50th Anniversary Special Day of the Doctor DVD, John Hurt on the Time of the Doctor DVD, and lastly, Paul McGann on the docudrama An Adventure in Space and Time DVD. As great as this was, I couldn't help but think the BBC missed a trick with their matching of Doctor and DVD. While I thought David Tennant was perfectly suited to the Day of the Doctor DVD, the others, I thought, weren't so much. I personally thought that John Hurt should go with the Name of the Doctor DVD, for one thing because that's the episode he first appears in, but also because, technically, the whole episode is about him. He's the secret the Doctor tried to hide, and is the incarnation that did things not in the name of the Doctor, thus giving the episode that title. And then, additionally, some of these special features, well, I say some of them, one special feature is, again, to do with John Hurt and the War Doctor. It's the Night of the Doctor minisode, where Paul McGann, the Eighth Doctor, regenerates into the War Doctor, played by John Hurt. So I thought it would make sense if John Hurt went with that DVD. And then as for Matt Smith, well I thought he must go with the Time of the Doctor DVD because that's his final episode and there's even a special feature on that DVD that's called Farewell to Matt Smith. So yeah, it kind of makes sense for him to go on that DVD I thought. And then lastly, for the An Adventure in Space and Time DVD, since that's all about the origin of Doctor Who and how William Hartnell played the first Doctor, I thought the cover should be something to do with that, not Paul McGann just randomly being on the cover. As good as the photo is, he's not even in that DVD, because his mini-sode is, as I just mentioned, on the Name of the Doctor DVD. So that's what I thought. So what do you think I did with the DVDs? Yep, I swapped over the covers. Here they are. So we have David Tennant with the 50th anniversary special, as before. That hasn't been changed at all. But now we have John Hurt with Name of the Doctor. And Matt Smith with Time of the Doctor. And then with the An Adventure in Space and Time DVD, I essentially gave it the front cover of the standalone version because I'd, I'd bought it before I realised the collector's edition was coming out. But I kept the back and this whole case is the standalone version. So it's got the inside bits, the nice background there, but the DVD itself is the collector's edition version. And I should just point out, where's Paul McGann gone? I took him out of the DVDs completely, and now I use him as a poster on my walls. Although it's a very small poster. <laughs> How I essentially went about cutting these is, I'll use Matt Smith to show you. You can do it how you want, but I would recommend you cut, look, if you can see where that's folding, I cut along that line there. And I think it was the back I cut rather than this end bit of the hinge. Um, yeah, and that's just so you can't see any faults on the front. It's all on the back and hopefully if you've done it well enough it's um, quite hidden. But yeah, I did it slightly differently with this DVD though. Um, at least I think I did. Ugh. Yeah, so instead, instead of cutting along this line, I cut along here 
on the back so that way I could just slot it in if I can take it out now so I could slot it in in front of the standalone version um, one thing I should point out because this isn't perfect the only issue is you do end up with dodgy numbering this says disc 3 but because this is uh, the name of the Doctor DVD that's disc 1 so Matt Smith and John Hurt their numbering becomes messed up now on to probably the main reason you're actually watching this video the chance to get a free Doctor Who DVD from me if you want to find out all about this and take part just click the link here where I explain what on earth you have to do done that? good if you liked the improvements I made to the DVDs please do give this video a like so that I know I haven't just ruined my DVDs completely if you want to see more videos like this you might want to watch the video that I've put to the right of me here right after you subscribe somewhere up there I don't know how to do this.